everyone, how are you guys doing? It is 20 past 5 in the morning and I am leaving the apartment here in London, Shmiran Fusti's apartment, you may recognize the car park, um, to go down to the Eurotunnel because today I'm embarking on a trip with Mr. JWW, uh, Paul from Supercars of London, TM and Tide, and Sam, seeing through glass. And we are driving all the way to Austria today. Uh, I have only slept, James is here, he's getting his car from downstairs, but uh, he slept over last night and we've only slept maybe three hours. Here he comes, so I'm gonna need to hop in the car. But yeah, let's head to Austria. As I'm sure you can tell, it's nighttime outside, and James, who is leading in front. Oops, yeah, I need to put my lights on. I just realized it's nighttime and I don't have lights on. James is in front, and uh, we are heading to the Eurotunnel. It says one hour, 27 minutes, arrival time, seven o'clock. We have to be there for around 7.15. That's when Paul and Sam are going there. So, yeah. Stuff we do to get some good content, man. 14 hours of driving today, of three hours sleep. Great idea. We gotta go. I have rarely seen London so empty, guys. This is insane. James and I terrorizing the streets of London at 5.37 in the morning. Hello. It's green again. James, I'm just, I've pulled over on the side waiting for him. Let me put this up like a good citizen. Don't know if Paul and Sam are here yet, but uh, we are, yeah, we got loads of time. So we should be all right. <laughs> Paul's here. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. This sounds so that is so cool. <laughs> so obviously we've arrived. <laughs> that was a bit of a giveaway. And literally as we arrive, Paul arrives. So that's pretty cool. Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Copyright! The beaver! <laughs> Mate, it looks incredible! <laughs> There's new beaver on Radio 1. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Mate, honestly, yeah, it looks are. unbelievable. So wide. I know. That is so nice. Yeah. 
James is just reorganizing his, his <laughs> luggage. Sam is here. <laughs> that exhaust is crazy. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Oh, hi, look at that. <laughs> Morning. Morning. SLS. Oh, there's an SLS, there's yeah, those lads there. over there. No, it's pretty good. This is the inside of Paul's car. It's unbelievable. I'm so jealous of his comfort because obviously I'm going to be without music in uh, uncomfort and he's going to be all in his luxury. You're basically driving a Rolls Royce there. Yeah, Rolls Royce? It's more sporty than a Rolls Royce. Yeah. <laughs> can go sideways easier. Yes, that's true, that's true. Cheeky spot of morning breakfast, got a bit of a muffin. Bacon and egg muffin, that's how it's done. Everyone's here. Elizabeth is here too, it's worth noise. Please don't let him lie to you, he never actually eats. <laughs> I am going to eat this. <laughs> I'm going to hand it to someone, like, I'm eating this, here, take it, eat. We're driving to the queue then. We've had our lunch, and now we are heading onwards to the queue. We, our train was delayed slash cancelled. So hopefully, this won't be too much of a nightmare. There we go, ladies and gents. We seem to have made it to this stop. Whatever you'd call this stop. Um, the before, before boarding the train stop. I believe we're about to move onto the train, so this is exciting. basically got our own carriage, one other person, and we've already started moving. There's another train chasing us there. Oh, we're out! See you soon, England! Because we have a 12-hour drive ahead of us, and I only slept three hours last night, I decided I'm going to sleep, and I've chosen to go in Paul's car, purely because it's the most comfortable. So, good night, people. We're here, we are in France. And the weather's not as nice as it was in the UK. And I didn't manage to sleep, if you're wondering. Great. We have hit 
traffic. Woo! -hoo. I'm also completely by myself with no radio because my radio is out of battery. So great. Uh, you know what? The thing about these restricted automobiles, like they're loads of fun, but you need to be so concentrated. I've been updated on the situation. Apparently, it's Surway's Burger King. Nah, uh, there is a genuine Burger King. Oh, there is. A, I was like, I was like, okay, okay, okay. I see, I see. How is the autobahn for you? I, I much prefer driving the autobahn because when there's no speed limit, you don't feel like you're doing anything wrong. Even though we're not doing anything wrong in France, we're just at cruise control 130. It's like, yeah. I don't know, like. But, I know when, when you're you no when you're just limit. sitting at 180, just like cruising yeah. with your music on, <laughs> yeah. and you look down and you're like. 180. Yeah, so uh, I think I hit 130. Oh wow! Yeah. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> I just let him run it out. Okay. Yeah, I was thinking. I was like, <laughs> great, great, Paul. <laughs> you did the speed limit in France. <laughs> All the cars are absolutely filthy, obviously. But from here, it's about a three-hour drive to our hotel. So I'm too exhausted to keep driving. We've got another three hours and 40 minutes to go. So I'm gonna get a hotel. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Sam's gonna drive my car and Elizabeth is going to drive his and I'm going to sleep for about an hour to recharge my batteries and then take over again. You excited? Yeah, man. Cool. Oh, come on, focus. Here we go. Sam is leading in my car, but it's weird seeing someone yeah, else. Yeah, my GoPro's out of battery, so I won't be making a video of this. Damn it. <laughs> Whoa, night mode is so cool on my camera. I've just woken up. Uh, it's the like the middle of the night. Well, the middle of the night. It's like 10 o'clock pretty much. Uh, I've had a bit of a nap. I've just radioed through to Sam, who is like, your car is so loud, I need to get out of here. So we're gonna switch at the next possible stop where we can, and then I'm gonna take over. And we've still got two hours to go. And we literally, we left home at 5 a.m. this morning. It is 10 o'clock, and the longest stop we had, apart from the Yotan, was literally like a quick Burger King. So it's been so intense, but, uh, Oh, yeah, wow. Thanks for driving me, Elizabeth. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah. Let's get into the car and let's just power on to Innsbruck. Sam is doing it out front, but this is, this 
I'm exhausted, but we've arrived. And my bag's also about to, yeah, there we go. Anyways, all the cars are parked up. There is, there they are. There's also an RS6 um, from Apt. Tim, should we on 50, who we've joined up with in his uh, 6M5LT and a Press M2. How are you feeling? Feeling, do you know what? In the grand scheme of things. Not that bad. Not that bad at all. Because yeah. <laughs> you were in like a freaking cruiser. <laughs> yeah, it was so comfortable. Oh, it held the road so well. And you the car. Has it confirmed your choice? Oh yeah, yeah. Well, the video that I made today was why I picked the AMG GTS. The link might you know, be in the description. I no. hope so. I know. <laughs> I didn't realize you were filming. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, forgot, I forgot what you choose. Tim, come say hi. <laughs> Where is he? There he is. What up? Welcome. We well, made it. Thank you. I know. You all made it. Eventually. I'm going to sleep for days. So I'm going to very generously. Oh, so I'm going to very generously not carry any of the things you just dropped. <laughs> He's an amazing person, really. Um, water and khaki. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. Anyways, that's pretty much it. There will be another vlog tomorrow. Blah -de -blah -de -blah. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe. I'll see you soon. Ciao. Bye. So we're back in the car. I just thought I'd show you how you started. You got your push start button there. Boom. It sounds incredible. You also got this button there is to switch off the um, stop start system in the car. So I'm just going to leave the key there for now. Check out the meaty sound. It's like a proper. Hear that? It's not what I expected. I didn't think it would sound that good, but it's definitely like M4 levels of 